All right, I just want to take the um, chance to welcome everybody. Welcome! Yay! Yeah. Hey, is there any, um, I see some faces that I don't recognize here. Um, hi, man, what's your name? Norma. Norma? Cool. How did you hear about this workshop today? Gosh, oh, I think um, Sue Landry, she sent out something about nice. Ethereum. I just read it on Great. Oh, awesome. I, I love those emails. Yeah, yeah great. great. Awesome. What, what, what church are you from? Okay, awesome. Oh, Hayward. Thanks. Wow. Yeah, well, Thanks for coming. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. And, and you said, and you, so what was that church you go to again? New Community Baptist Church. That's in Mountain View. Mountain View? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, and, and you, yeah. sir? Uh, St. Stephen's Episcopal in South San Jose. All right, cool. Oh, South San Jose, where we're at? Uh, it's Paul Shannon Teresa, just before you run out of anything. It's right there. Uh, Mur Murphy, right? Right across from Murphy. Murphy. Yeah. Our, our awesome. We'll live around there. Yeah. Great. Cool, 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 cool. Um, before we start, um, did, did everybody bring, um, sorry, no, not bring, sorry. Did, did everybody grab a handout? Awesome. Awesome. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, no, not that thing. It's over uh, there. But, um, well, hey, uh, guys, thank you for coming. I feel so honored to be here and uh, to be sharing with you guys today. Um, first of all, I, I, don't, I don't profess to be, to be any expert or any guitar great or legend or anything, but I'm just, today, I'm just taking all the things that I've, that, that I've gathered through the years, everything that I've learned on the internet, um, everything that I've learned through other people like, like Mark and uh, different things, and um, many times that, that we played in worship service, just taking all that and just sharing with you, with you guys. And so, um, some of you, uh, for some of you, like, you may know everything here already, and so, and, and so hopefully maybe what we share here might inspire you to come up with some new stuff, or, um, and, and some of you here may know some of it, and, and hopefully some of the stuff will, like, fill in some, 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 some holes for you, and, and if you maybe know just, just only, just, just, just only, like, a, um, a little bit of it, um, I just hope that this workshop will, will just kind of We'll open your eyes to to what are the possibilities of of, of, the, of the of the acoustic and guitar and worship and and different um, cool, cool, cool little things 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 that we can do. So, um, so let's uh, open up with a word of prayer. Thank you, Jesus, God, for uh, giving us such an awesome gift of uh, of the acoustic guitar, and all that wood and steel, God. And uh, we just pray that 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 we just take this gift that you've given us and just give it back to you in in, in, in however way. Father, I pray that you just use me today, God, to just impart and to bless people here and just, uh, um, may, may it just be from you. We thank you. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks, Mark. You <laughs> love that mood music. So, um, um, I'm going to start with um, talking about some essential um, strumming patterns. Uh, first slide, Nick. Thank you. And uh, um, I'm going to show you these because anything else we, we, we pretty much play um, um, in, in, in contemporary worship songs these days, they're just variations of, 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 these, of, of these few, 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 few rhythms. Um, so the first one is called the down strum, okay? And it's basically it's like um, just one and two and three and four and four. Yeah, if you have a guitar, just go ahead and just strum it. Go one and two and Um, the, 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 the the cool thing with with, with that is that, is that if you if you emphasize different different um, um, a different a different backbeat it's gonna it's, it's gonna sound totally, totally different check this out if I go if I go if I go one two three and four and right it's it's gonna sound um, kind of like ballad right. But if I go, if I go one and two and three and four and, it's gonna sound a little more folksy, right? Right. right. It's still just one and two and three and four, right? But if we go one, and, oh sorry, one and two, three, and four, like this. Tonight you look so pretty as you do. Time's greater shine 
as bright as you. I know it's true. Right? So, so, so it's like, it's, it's like that, 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 that backbeat, right? Even though we're strumming the same thing, one and two and, right? But if you emphasize different, a different part of it, um, it's, it's going to sound a little different. So that's your down strum, okay? Um, and then the next thing, the next one, is called the gallop strum. It goes like this. It goes like one and a two and a three and a four. One. Can you try it? Here we go. One, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four. And a one and a two and a three and a four. And the, we, the reason why it's, it's kind of called the gallop strum is because if you do it fast enough, it's going to sound like gallop. Right? <laughs> okay. And so, like, uh, um, um, something like that, you know, uh, gallop strum. that like a Jason Mraz kind of like Jack Johnson kind of a, a, a thing and maybe even like this one. A strum like that, it's like, um, um, I have butters one day. How lovely is your dwelling place. Oh, Lord Almighty. Right? And if, and if, you, and if you speed that up enough, it's, it's, um, um, it, it, it's going to be like a ry rhythm, kind of like, kind of like play, play, playing like a friend of God. So eventually, if you speed that up enough, that, 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 that's kind of that. Um, and then the next one, I don't know what it's called, but I call it the scoop strum because when I do it, it feels like I'm kind of scooping stuff. So here's how it goes. I'm not exactly sure how to count this one. I, I should I should have worked it out, but but, but it kind of goes like this. It goes like uh, um, it goes like down 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 up up down 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 up up down 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 yeah it's like down. So, so three downs, and then, and then up, up, and then two ups, and then two downs. So down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. Can you do that?
so like a, a, a strum like that, we, we, we use on 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 on, on, on a song like kind of breathe, right? Down, 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 up, down. This is the air I breathe. This is the air. If, if we actually like, if we, if we actually strum in, in, in like sixteen, so okay, like that, it's like just go down, down, up, up, down, down. Yeah, that's right. Jump. Actually, if, 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 if you notice my, my, my hand, when, when I'm strumming these rhythms, I'm not just strumming on, I'm, my hand's not moving just on the strum. I'm not going down, 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 up, up, down, down. Actually, like, if you look at it, my hand's constantly moving, right? So that's how I make it feel. But what you do is that you just hit the strings on, on those, and you just go, <laughs> down, down, down. Make your strum a lot lower. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, good job, good job. Right okay. And then the next one is called the six shape strum. Okay? And um it's like this go it goes um one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So the emphasis is on one, four. Yeah, cool. And, and, and songs that are on, on, on six eight, they're like, um, um, like, uh, um, he is jealous for me, one, two, three, four, five, six. Love's like a hurricane, I am a tree, bending. Also, um, another one is kind of like, um, uh, um, all who are thirsty, four, five, six, one, two. All who are weak, four, five, six, one, two. Come to the fountain. Yeah, yeah. And, um, 
revolve I can see the boy You place a star in the sky And you know them by one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Cool. Okay. And um, so that's that. And the next one is going to be, it's called a three-four strum, okay? And it's it's going to feel really similar to the 6 eight strum because it's got that triplet kind of feel. But again, it, 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 it's all in how you, how, how you count it and how you emphasize the back. So, so three, four strum. Um, like this. Like, um, um. Feels really similar to six eight, but it's just we, we count differently. It, it, it feels a little different. And, and songs are in, are, they're, they're, they're in three four. They're, they're, they're like uh, um, I'm stronger. You are stronger. You are stronger. Sin is broken. You as one two. A lot of also a lot of like uh, um, um, uh, holiday songs uh, um, or hymns or there 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 a lot of them are in three four kind of like um, we wish yeah, we wish you a merry Christmas we wish you a merry Christmas we wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new one two one two three, one and it's not six eight because if you did six eight one two three four five it's it's, it's not it's not gonna feel right um, okay. And uh, um, you, you, you can you can work on like varying your strum um, just just by just by just by adding or or or, 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 or subtracting um, the, uh, the 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 strums of that backbeat. But the but the key is you have to feel and keep the same backbeat. So say 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 for instance, right? The uh, um, <laughs> the progressive strum, right? <laughs> one, um, one, and two, and a three, e and a four, right? I'm strumming this, right? So if I want to change it, all I got to do is just maybe add or, 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 or subtract. In this case, I'll subtract because there's a lot of strums here, but still feel the same thing. This is a different rhythm, right? But I'm still feeling the same. Awesome. Um, yes. Uh, yes. I do have an extra thing. Uh, do you have one right here? Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. And then just this last thing before we leave rhythm. Eventually, you, you want you, you want to. Oh, 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 sorry. I thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought you were going to say something. My bad. So, 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 so eventually, when, when we're playing, playing these rhythms, you, you want to be able to, 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 to be able to do what they call like a ghosting, which pretty much like you're, you're, you're strumming all the notes, right? But some notes may be softer, and some notes may be uh, a, a, a lot louder. That, that, that's going to um, that's gonna help you to, to sound a little bit, just a little more sophisticated with, 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 with the same music. Let me show you some react, uh, 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 examples again. Um, right, right, because uh, I'm not showing right just on, 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 on all the notes. What I'm doing is, is, is like I'm, I'm actually like kind of just just emphasizing a lot of the the stronger beats and on the on, on the weaker beats. I'm, I'm just kind of like just hitting the string lightly. Mm -hmm.
kidding? Cool, awesome. Good job, you guys. Okay. Now, um, we're going to go to the next thing, um, chords, families, and voicings. Now, I spent um, a lot of years when I would learn songs. Um, I would pretty much just take, take the chord chart and go, okay, oh, C, and I'll look up a C chord, and then, oh, that's how I play it, and you go, G, I'll look up a G chord, and A minor, and then I'll, uh, I'll look up an A minor chord. And then so I would learn every song chord for chord, and if I learn an, a new song, even though it was in the same key, i go, oh, C, okay, look, F, right? And so it wasn't until um, in the last, maybe the last 10 years when I started to, um, to, 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 to understand and start to realize um, a chord families, I'm able to, to actually um, uh, to learn songs a lot more quicker. I'm able to memorize songs um, a, a, a lot easier because chord families are, are, is, is going to teach you to, to actually to, um, to, to, um, to it, it, it trains your ears. So, so there's a lot, of, a lot of ear training. Um, so let me show you an example. In, in your, um, let me see. Okay, so, so, so to understand chord families, right, the first thing we, we have to understand is what is a key, right? A key is basically a group of seven notes that harmonize with, with each other. And in every key, there, there's like seven notes. And now what else? With each of those seven notes, there's a chord that, that goes with it. So, so this is your scale. Um, do, re, mi, la, so, la, ti, do, right? In the same way, with, the, with those seven notes, there are seven chords. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Right? And, 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 and I didn't even know that, 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 with, with, that those chords, like those seven chords, will always, like, they'll, they'll always stay together. There are exceptions. But, but, but for the most part, they, 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 they all harmonize together and, 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 and they all stay together. It's like a family, right? So in your handout, um, there is a thing that uh, uh, says um, um, chord family in C. There's, there's, take, 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 take that out for a second. Right. And then you see, I've also labeled the chords from one to, um, to, to seven. There's one, two, and there's three. There's three, and there's like a one slash three. There's a four, five, six, and there's like a five, oh, uh, five. There's like a five over seven. So, so basically, um, eventually, you want to be able to identify chords with with numbers. Say, uh, it's a, it's like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one or eight, whatever you want to call it, right? And, and that's going to help you to, to, to learn songs a lot quicker. It's able to enable you to, he, to hear harmony. So say if I go one, four, right? With, 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 in, in any key, going from the one to the four would sound the same. One, four, or one, four, because it's all just do. Fa, right in key of D. Do, fa, right, and and, and so, so 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 let's go back to the key of C C for a moment. So so, and in, in, in any song that's in the key of C, you're gonna you're gonna find that 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 most of those of those chords are gonna be there. Okay, there are a few exceptions. Um, um, and, and, different things, and different things like that. But if you're ever trying to figure out um, a, a chords to, 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 to a song, um, um, it, say if it, and it's in a key of C, all, all those seven chords is, is, is going to most likely be. So, so you, you can actually take that as, as, an, um, as an aid for you when, 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 when you're trying to figure, figure out songs. Okay? So, um, okay, so let's do the, the uh, key, key, key of C. Let's do stronger. Okay, so, so, you can, so you guys can, can follow along with stronger, and, and, and you can follow along with the with the with, 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 with those six, seven chords. Yeah. 
creative things things I like to do with with, with the key of C. So with the C chord, I like to uh, um to, 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 add some ex to add some extension on there. Um, you can actually do, um, um, do, do this really easy by by just lifting up your your, your index finger from from the C chord. Right, it, it, it's got like a D in there, so it's like a two. Right, and then here's your A, um, your a minor. You can actually play play the A minor with, 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 without your ring finger. That's like A minor seven. That that, that 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 F chord, right? Y'all kind of learn learn it as a bar chord, right? Or kind of kind of like this. Uh, I, I, I like to do it with the thumb here, and then also I also lift up my my uh, my middle finger. It's got like a little kind of like a cool 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 cooler voice in here. Do that too. And there's like a major seven. If you, if you lift up your um your your your, 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 your index finger just a little bit. What I like to do with the G is that I like to take my index finger off of uh, off, off of the, uh, the, the, the 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 third the B note here and actually put it here, just just down a little bit. It makes for a really cool G um, G two voice. The verse is just this. Traditionally, you kind of learn your D minor like this. But I kind of like to, uh, just, just like the F chord, I, 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 I bar the first two strings and just, and just put a middle finger there. That makes like a, a, D, a really cool D, D minor 7 open voice. And 
also, if if you notice on the sheet, right, on on I have I have a three, a three chord, and I also have one that says one over three. Now traditionally, if if you go up the scale, uh, one two three, right, it's 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 it, 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 it is an E minor chord, right? But uh, um, very, very commonly, we would substitute that with a one over three. So what that is basically the one chord, the C, but you put, but you put like a third in the bass, which is the E, like that. And it makes for a really contemporary, cool voice, like, um, like a. Also, the, the 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 five over seven is is the same thing too. It's basically the the five for the G, but you put the but you put the seventh in the bass, which is the B. You see that on, on, on your sheet for the five over seven, right? And what it does, what, what those things do, it, it actually enables you to to do some really cool like a bass note walk, walk down, kind of like a like a C B. So and, and the same thing for that for that E uh, for that uh, one over three. Like that. Cool, awesome. Uh, does anybody have any questions about the C uh, the C C, C chords in, in the key of C so far? Yeah, the G2. I basically take, 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 take a G chord right here, and I take off the index finger, and then I, I put it on the uh, third string. Huh? Like a C2 also. Um, actually, kind of, kind of. Like the shape's really similar, right? But if we actually put put that bass note on the C, it becomes a C6. Yeah. So, anyways, the. The G2 right here. Yeah, no worries. Cool, alright. Let's move on to the key of A. My is A. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I just like um, I, I just I just um, um, 
Um, take up that, that, ring, that ring finger and then put an index finger right here. It's a really cool D major nine. Like that. Based on it, and you have F sharp minus seven. And then I also like to do this this uh, this voicing of the, of the F sharp minor. It's, it's got a little more of a of a, of a, of a, of a robust sound, right? The other one's kind of more a little more. Sophisticated, subtle. This one's just a little more, a little more robust. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what's really cool uh, about that D, um, that that D major nine chord is, is um, you actually do like a hammer on it and it pull off when when you play it. Just, 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 just even just, just leave, leave it off, leave the middle finger off totally. Just gonna, well, that's kind of a cool voicing too. It's like a six nine, maybe a six nine or something. Yeah. yeah. you know what is it about these voicings? What I do is I, I just take, I just take the regular chord, so just say D chord, and then I just like, and then just move my fingers around and, and see, see what sounds good. All right, th th that's like the, the easiest way to do it. But actually, if you um, if you if you, if, you, if, you, if you take me um, learn some music theory and all, kind of, and all that kind of stuff, it's gonna um, be um, it's gonna help you to forget out forget out a lot of these like, these voicing lock lock right there. Um, oh, and I want to also what what I like to do. I like to take this uh, this, this 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 D chord right. Um, I took all my fingers off except, except the index finger, and then put my pinky right here. Yeah, check this out. If, if, and, and if you put a, a D bass to it, that's, not, that's a cool D, D voice thing. Right now, but then if you if you if you put a C sharp bass in it, it's kind of cool little voicing too. F sharp. And then E. Very simple, right? You just you just basically just leave your fingers there. Too. I like to take the D chord and just move it up uh, uh, one whole step, but, but, but I keep the but I keep the D bass, right? What it does, it, 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 it kind of gives a really like uh, neat like a um, kind of like a Disney kind of a sound. Yeah, you kind of hear that. It kind of like a lot of Disney music. And you can do the same thing with with, with the A chord. Yeah. Um, see what else I like to do. Oh, 
in, in, in the key of A. Um, this, is, this, is, this is also an A chord. Here. It's a really cool uh, major nine voicing as well. Oh, I just used my. Uh, uh, it's it's not an A shape. It's like what do you call this shape? It's kind of like A minor shape. It's basically um, um, it, um, it's basically the uh, seventh fret um, fourth string, and then the sixth fret um, on the um, uh, on, on the on the third string. Yeah, yeah. So so, so here's an A. You can also move it up, uh, uh, Jose. You have the Disney thing again. I love Disney. <laughs> yeah. And also another cool thing is that, like, um, um, with, with, with the A shape here, you can actually put your, in, uh, your, your index finger here, and it's a major seven, a really cool major seven chord. Put, put, put your index finger like right, right here. Again, that G2 that you had here. So you can also do like the hammer and pull off thing. And then what you can also do 
So just give me a second. And what we can also do is also lift up your your your, your the, the, the pinky too. Kind of has a nice six kind of a. And also with the G chord, I actually like to um, put, put, put my index finger on, 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 on the top string here. So it gives like a major seven. Okay. On the top string here. Yeah. I actually use this one a lot. And now, going from the G to the C chord with that, you, you, all you gotta do is just move the bass note down here. From the G here, you gotta, all you gotta do is just move the bass note down. And the G chord, you're putting that 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 that, that string on top. You can also do that with the with the C. It makes a really nice sharp four or flat five, however you want to see it, kind of a voice. And again, with all these voices, you can always do the hammer on you. All these voices are a lot more like a contemporary because if you just do like, if you learn C just regular it's just this it's kind of more for like folksy right but if you do like there's a lot more like a current sound I don't know what you call it a, there's a lot more flavor to it a lot more sophisticated sophisticated kind of sound okay um, oh and also on that C chord oh sorry did you have a question. G and you add at that A, I think. Um, yeah, G2. Like that, G like that. G2. G2, yeah. Yeah. When you add it to that chart, it was like major seven. Major seven. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so, so for, like, for like a general rule of thumb, if you want to make a regular chord sound contemporary, you just, you, you add in the two, the nine, the um, six, and the seven tones. 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 Tone, 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 tone. It's a lot more sophisticated. Yeah. Also on, on this on the C chord, right? Um, that that uh, um, putting putting that, that 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 sharp four down there, I actually move that down a little closer to, to, to the bass note, so it sounds like this. Middle finger on, on, on the on the fifth string third fret, and have my ring finger on the um, um, fourth string uh, fourth fret. Hey, there you go. Like that. There you go. Yeah, it's got uh, it's got like a haunting kind of a sound, right? You're right. And what's cool about that, something like that, is that you, you just take that and just change the the, the bass note. All of a sudden you have a G major seven. Okay, let's see. All right, and you do the E, the E minor nine. And then, and then, and then this, uh, this, this, this D chord voicing that, 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 that a lot of you probably know, like that. Has that same feature in that in that chord in that chord shape. Yeah. It's, just, it's just like your regular C chord. You just loop it up uh, a whole step. Yeah. yeah. So you so you can actually play like like a whole song with 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 that sound in it. It was like this. Take like a motif 
You know, kind of like that. And, and just kind of like put, 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 put it, put it in, in, in most of your, your, your chord progressions. It's going to sound more like there's a con continuity, you know, uh, it's like a theme line. And what's cool is that even though it's a, if it's the same note, um, sorry, the same note, right? It, it takes on a different personality and a different role in a different chord. Right? I'm playing the same notes, but then once it's in a different chord and then over a different bass note, it's still different. Chord like the A minor. I, 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 I kind of like to do do voicing like this, right? We're just uh, it, it's on the fifth fret. Yeah. And I like to put my put, put my index finger here. I got like a, a, a minus seven kind of a sound. And then, and, then, and, then, and then if I just put my index finger on the top here, then it has like a really cool, I don't even know what we call that, is it a minor 9 or something like that? Right, so, we, so uh, and again, a lot of these chords would sound, it sounds weird if you just play it just by itself. But once you play it in context, Put it on the uh, fifth fret on the uh, f uh, third and the fourth string. Okay. Yeah, it's like an A minor nine. Yeah, and also add the 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 the, 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 the index finger right too. The key feature of this chord forcing is, is, that, is that is that half note kind of thing that kind of rubs together. What is, it, what is that song? It sounds like um, uh, the sound of silence. Simon and Garfunkel. Cool. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the key of G. Um, yeah, go ahead. How are you playing your G B? Oh, the G over B like this. It's basically I just I just take the G chord and I just and I just take off the uh, the index finger. Uh, not the index finger, the the middle finger. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's do uh, the key of E. Thanks for being so patient with me, you guys. You guys are troopers. Alright, it's the
Actually, a lot of the chords are, 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 are there. They actually overlaps from the key of A. Because um, there's A, there's E, there's F sharp minor, there's C sharp minor, there's um, 